Hi, this is Neil from Beachwood Tree Care. Just want to show you how our big West Tech grab works on our Roto tree cutter. So, on the front of the machine here, we can open up these big jaws and we can grip a hold of the tree. They'll get closed up really nice and tight around the tree and then out comes the chainsaw to cut it. Three quarters of a meter diameter tree there and we can lift up to five ton with this machine. We're going to show you how we cut a section out with our West Tech on our big green tree cutting machine. Which is there. So he's just lining up the head. This is West Tech up there. And what he's going to do now, once he's got a good grip of that section and he feels comfortable with it, he's going to start the cutting process. So the saw is going to come out, cut through the section and then he's going to lift it away. So here we go, he's cutting through the section. You can see the saw there. You can see the piece has been detached. It's firmly held in that grab. You've got a section there that probably weighs about half a ton. Um, just tilting the saw out to get rid of the sawdust and make sure that's nice and free. And then he draws that back in under controller, takes that right away back from the road. And then he can slew that round and put that down in the field here. No manual handling, nobody's worked at height. Really, really easy, really straightforward and very efficient. So here comes down comes the piece. So the beauty of this machine, as opposed, there are a lot of machines working like this, excavators working with these big grapple saws on. This machine is designed to lift and shift. So a, a digger, an excavator is designed to dig. This is a basically a small crane and it's designed to lift. And there we go, we can safely put that down. If we're looking at trees that have got potential ecology habitat, it's really, really safe. If you watch an excavator with a grapple saw working, you'll notice they cut sections and then drop them. Um, generally, this is to stop the excavator tipping over because really what you've got is a machine that can't really lift. So now what they're gonna do is they're gonna deal with the rest of that stem. So now they're lifting out a big section of the tree. So when we get down to the big section, we just grab it with a grab and someone goes in with a chainsaw at the base, cuts it off. And as you see this come out at the top of the hedge, you'll see the capability of this machine and quite how much this can lift up. So there's a good couple of tons there. It's just getting nicely lifted out the top of that hedge, no damage to anything underneath. And he's gonna put that down, nice and controlled on the ground, ready to be taken away in the farm telehandler. Whether they're gonna cut it up for firewood or use it to, to block up a gateway or something, I don't know. But you can see here the beauty of our big green tree cutting machine. That hedge, fully intact. The stump in this case has been left high at the client's request. And there we have Tom, just carefully moving that piece round and he's going to pop that down on the ground there. There's our customer having a film. There's the man himself through the hedge, there's Al. He's just done that. I'll have, a, I'll have an ask of Tom. How much that weigh, Tom? Come on. And so that's 2.6 tonnes. With ease, lifted over the top of a hedge and put down really nicely. You can see in there the decay in the centre of that tree, only a little bit. I expect down in the root ball, it's a lot worse. 